Mega cap tech stocks have seen a big rebound from the lows with Apple trying for its longest weekly win streak since July of last year. Brent, I'm going to start off with you. Where do you want to put your money at right now with the trends that we're seeing? Yeah, I mean, so I think I think within tech, just to sit on your your, your comment for a second with, with Apple, you know, right now, Apple is a 7.3 percent weighting in the S&P. That makes Apple going back like 40 plus years, the largest, you know, largest weighting of a single company in the S&P. So I think even with this tech sell off, Apple has just continued to get stronger. And so once again, we just sold the queues, but then double our weight, weighting in the queues in a hedged way. So I still feel that the history of evidence tells you that the S&P cannot make a meaningful rally unless tech rallies. And so I think that that correlation is going to hold. I just don't think you're going to get the financials or any other sector that's big enough to actually move the S&P. So I think you still want to own technology. We just want to own it in a more defensive way. We can take advantage of volatility. Yeah, Bank of America out with a note on growth actually earlier today. Savita Subramaniam uh, saying that pull forward demand due to COVID, the supply chain disruptions and geopolitical risks may weigh on growth performance in the coming months. Um, Brenda, I want to come over to you. Are, are you agreeing with this take by Savita? Do you see things the same way? Yeah, I mean, our preference is really to have more exposure to companies that have more financial flexibility uh, within the space and that can manage even through um, a higher cost environment or through a potential slowing of end markets. So when we look at um, companies like in Amazon, for example, that's one of our favorites in the space. When we look at the, the flexibility that they have, um, especially given, you know, really years and years and years of reinvesting in the business and now at a point where I think they've invested uh, plenty, uh, invested too much. So now we're on the other side of that, where we could see margin expansion, even in the face of some some rising costs. So that would be, you know, a preferred area for us. When we look at Apple and Microsoft, we do have exposure to those companies, but we are underweight relative to the S and P 500, uh, simply because the valuation now is is pretty stretched. You know, 28 times forward earnings. We still love both companies, but we just think that that's going to be a limiting factor to a certain extent. Jim, over to you. One of the big stories when it comes to tech and growth has been the 10-year yield. Um, Bank of America, I'm going to go back to that note by Savita, uh, coming out with a forecast of it at 2.75 at year end, right now at about 2.86. They believe it's going to stay range-bound throughout the rest of the year. Under that scenario, are you a believer in growth? Do you feel like you want to position yourself back to value? Well, I, honestly, I think you can do both, but I, I do, I do uh, fall out on the value side. And there's, there's a few reasons for it. One, if you look forward about the economic activity that I think is going to come from supply chain onshoring, you're going to have to finance that, so that's going to favor the banks. You're going to need the materials. You're going to need energy industrials. Um, there's nothing wrong with large cap tech. I'm underweight large cap tech, but I'm still invested in it. And the reason that I'm underweight is, is a couple of things. One, the multiple still, if you look at the XLK, is about 25 times doesn't mean it has to come down, but I don't think it can go up. So the best you're going to get from share price uh, appreciation is earnings per share growth, which is going to be 8 to 12 percent. I think you can do better outside of tech. The other thing, though, Bryn and Brenda are talking about this, Frank, is that as the market recovers here, people go back to what they know, which is technology. They're comfortable. Hey, I buy Apple. I buy Amazon. How wrong could I be? Um, and the passive ETFs are heavily weighted in technology. Um, but that is, when you look at history, usually the sector that does the best in the preceding bull market is not the sector that does the best in the next bull market. It was true for technology after uh, 2000, 2001. It was true for financials after 08, 09. It's probably likely to be true now simply because of the differential between multiples on the XLK and, say, the XLE, which is around 10, or the XLF, which is also around 10. Joe, I want to come over to you. I want to give you actually some credit. I know you don't like to toot your own horn, but yesterday you actually pinged us when you were flagging that oil prices were going up off that IEA forecast. And at the same time, we saw the Nasdaq take a move to the downside. Today, we're seeing oil prices down 2 percent. They were up 2 percent yesterday and Nasdaq popping and taking some leadership. So in your mind, is oil another factor when it comes to growth and, and, and big cap tech and things like that? Or is that just a one time occurrence yesterday? I think, Frank, as we move towards uh, the end of the year and into the winter with the concerns that we might have with Europe uh, regarding gas supplies, I think energy, oil and natural gas will be a leading indicator as to where the overall uh, equity markets will be pricing. And, and as you cited, we saw that yesterday. Oil rallied, natural gas rallied, equities came off. So um, I, I view the 
uh, overweight exposure to energy in the Joe T strategy and product as really a hedge, as really uh, some form of a, a risk mechanism about what could potentially go wrong with this recovery that we're witnessing right now. I think as it relates to technology, it's a disinflation story, and it's back to looking at technology and growth at more of a reasonable price. It's not hyper growth. It's quality growth. It's growth at a reasonable price. That's exactly what a name like Apple is delivering for you. And clearly, the recovery we've had since the beginning of July, the catalyst has been a lot of these mega cap technology names. Apple is basically down four or five percent for the year, and it looks like it wants to take out its high. So energy is going to be a leading indicator. Energy down. Technology is absolutely going to benefit. Energy prices begin to recover. Well, you know where the market's going to go. Uh, it's going to pull back in that setting. Yeah, Joe, TETF up more than half a percent right now. I'm going to toot your horn for you, Joe.